God's word is like a letter from him to us. So it is important that we understand everything we read while we're studying the Bible. A lot of times though, as we open our Bibles to study, we find passages and verses that are challenging to understand. So how do we understand these? Come with me and let's look at some tips God gave us in the Bible to help us understand everything we read. Before we open our Bibles to study, we should put all of our distractions aside. We can't expect to understand the Bible while we're checking our phones or thinking about what we're going to do that day. Matthew 6.24 says, No one can serve two masters, for either he will hate the one and love the other, or else he will be loyal to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. Next, we should always pray and ask for understanding. Proverbs 2.6 says, For the Lord gives wisdom, from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. The Bible also says that we should ask for the Holy Spirit to guide us and to show us what we need to see. John 14, 26 says, But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all things that I said to you. Now that you've asked God to guide you as you study, what do you do when you reach a spot you still don't understand? Isaiah 28.10 says, For precept must be upon precept, precept upon precept, line upon line, line upon line, here a little and there a little. This verse is telling us that we can find clues throughout the entire Bible that can tell us what that one verse means. Many times throughout the Bible, there are words that are used that represent something else. For example, let's turn to Revelation 12, 4. It says, His tail drew a third of the stars of heaven and threw them to the earth. Well, what does this mean? What, what is his tail? If we compare scripture with scripture, like we just read that verse about, then you can turn to Isaiah 9.15 and read, The elder and honorable, he is the head. The prophet who teaches lies, he is the tail. So now you know that the dragon drew the stars with his lies. You can continue this process even farther to figure out what the stars represent and what the dragon represents. One main way that helps me understand what a word means in the Bible is to look it up in the Strong's Exhaustive Bible Concordance. Then I can look up the word and then go through all the Bible verses until I find a verse that can give me a clue on what that word means. Understanding the Bible can be challenging at first, but with diligent study and ultimately with help from God, we can understand everything we read while we're studying the Bible. I'm Rachel, and thank you for joining me at Here I Am, Send Me.